Hi gorgeous! Today's video is a little different. I'm taking you along with me as I get unready for the evening. So taking all of the paint off, all of the magic that makes the face. You know, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just love a bare face and I look forward to this time of the evening. Mm. I did a video like this a long while back and obviously my routine has changed so much since then. So I wanted to give you an updated version since there've been so many requests for this kind of video. So let's go. All right, very first thing I always do is de-jewel myself. Take off the earrings, the rings, but the Z necklace always stays on. And after that, I generally use a micellar cleansing water to start with. Um, right now, I'm really enjoying the one from L'Oreal. On this day, I happen to be wearing Max Ruby Woo lipstick, really hard one to remove, but you can see how easily that took it right off. Sorry, I had to. If you wear false eyelashes, then you know that this is the best part of the whole routine. Then I'll go back and soak another cotton pad with the micellar cleansing water and allow it to sit on my eyes for about 30 seconds per eye to loosen up the eyeliner and mascara that's a little harder to remove. This was totally unplanned. <laughs> it just happened and I decided to leave it in there. <laughs> And to take all of the paint off, I'm using a mild cleansing soap from Clinique. I usually use the Paula's Choice one, but I have so many cleansers right now that I'm trying to use them up. And then I usually take a toner. This is one from Burt's Bees. Really love it. It's so soothing on the skin and smells really good too. Then I apply this product from Paula's Choice. It's her daily skin clearing treatment. This is for acne. And this is the stuff I swear by. This clears up my acne within two days tops. It is really spectacular stuff. I don't know what she puts in it, but it works like magic. And I recently added in this retinol treatment from Paula's Choice. I haven't been using it long enough to tell you how I feel about it or what I think about it, but it had really rave reviews on the Paula's Choice website. So really interested to see how this is going to work long-term. And for my moisturizer, I use another Paula's Choice product. Surprise, surprise, I love her products. This is the Skin Balancing Invisible Finish Moisture Gel. I apply it on my face and my neck. For my eye area, I've been going between the Paula's Choice Resist Antioxidant Concentrate Serum and Number 7's Protect and Perfect. For this video, I'm using the Paula's Choice one, but I do interchange them quite frequently. And this is something new that I started adding into my routine. I'm using castor oil right now to moisturize my lashes. I take a little bit of this on a Q-tip and apply it on the lash line and then apply it like a mascara. And this is supposed to help your lashes grow. And I feel like I've seen a noticeable difference since I started doing this about four weeks ago in how my lashes look and feel. And finally, I add a lip balm. Keep everything moisturized overnight, and this is my most favorite one from Jack Black. And that is my entire routine from start to finish. No, I didn't include brushing my teeth or taking a shower. I'm not gonna show you that. <laughs> this is just taking the paint off. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.